Our dear students, welcome back to English, Family and Friends for Grade 4, Semester 1, Unit 4, We're Having Fun at the Beach, Lesson 3, Grammar. Before we start our lesson, you will need your mini board and a marker or a piece of paper and a pencil. Here are today's lesson objectives. By the end of today's lesson, you are going to be able to Use the affirmative and negative forms of the present continuous correctly and write accurate sentences using the affirmative and negative forms of the present continuous. Let's recall the structure of present continuous. Let's read the following sentences and learn about what Khalid is doing and what he isn't doing. Let's see the first picture. What's Khalid doing now in this picture? He is putting a book away. Now let's recall the structure together. Here's the affirmative structure. First we start with the pronoun he, followed by a verb to be, is, then a verb putting, and don't forget here we have a vowel and a consonant, so we have to double the consonant, and then we continue the sentence a book away. Now let's see the affirmative, the negative sentence. He isn't reading a book. Now let's see the second picture. He is reading a book. But... He isn't playing. What about the third sentence? They are watching TV, but they aren't playing. Remember, for the negative structure, we start again with the pronoun, followed by verb to be and not, and then finally we add the verb with ing. They aren't playing. Now, on the next two slides, you are going to find the two matching sentences about the picture and then you will choose what they are doing and what they aren't doing. Let's start. Now you have two minutes to find the two matching sentences about the picture. Now, let's look at the picture and find the matching sentence. 
Let's see this first sentence. They are visiting grandma. Are they visiting grandma? Look at the picture. Excellent. So, it's correct. They are visiting grandma. Now, what are they not doing? You have two sentences with aren't or are not. Let's take a look at the first one. They aren't visiting their grandma. Is this true? Great, it's not. So let's see the second sentence. They aren't watching TV. Is this correct? Excellent, they aren't watching TV. Now you have two more minutes to read the sentences. Now, look at the picture and look at the boy. Let's see the first sentence. What is he doing? He is carrying a rock. Look at the boy. Is he carrying a rock? Excellent. So this sentence is correct. What is he not doing? Let's see the sentences with not. Here we have the first sentence with not. He isn't carrying a rock. Is this sentence correct? No. So let's move on to the next sentence. They aren't watching TV. Now, do we use they aren't for only one boy? No. So let's see the next sentence. He isn't playing basketball. So he is carrying a rock. He isn't playing basketball. Now, let's fill in the blanks. Write what they are doing and what they aren't doing. Now, let's look at the picture here. We have Ali, Noor, Dad, Mom, Grandpa, and their neighbor. Now, let's look at the verbs to be in the box. We have is isn't or is not, are, aren't or are not. Now, you have five minutes to read and complete this question. Number one, Ali looking out the window. What should we use for Ali? Look at, look at Ali in the picture. Is he looking out the window? Good. So, Ali is looking out of the window. He watering the flowers. Look at Ali. Is he watering the flowers? No. So we use isn't. He isn't watering the flowers. Let's see number two. Noor playing volleyball. Look at Noor. Is she playing volleyball? No. So Noor isn't playing volleyball. She looking at the, ver the bird. Is she looking at the bird? Good. So, she is looking at the bird. Let's see number three. The parents working. So here, we have mom and dad. Are they working? No. So, the parents aren't working. They drinking tea. Are they drinking tea? Excellent. They are drinking tea. Let's read sentence number four. Grandpa waving his hand. Is he waving his hand? Very good. Grandpa is waving his hand. He drinking tea. Look at Grandpa. Is he drinking tea? No. So, he isn't drinking tea. Let's read sentence five. The neighbor walking. Look at the neighbor. Is the neighbor walking? No. The neighbor isn't walking. He waving to grandpa. He is waving to grandpa. Now, you are going to look at the picture and write sentences about what Ahmed 
and his family are doing. Use the verbs in the box. Let's read the verbs together. We have watch, slide, wait, jump. And let's look at the picture. We have mom, Hassan, Muna, and Ahmed. You have five minutes to write the sentences.
Now, let's see the possible answers for this question. Let's see number one. The mom is watching the children. So we use the first verb, which is watch, and we use this in the sentence, in the sentence the mom is watching the children. Let's see the second verb, slide. Good, Mona is sliding. Let's see the third verb, wait. Who's waiting? Good, Ahmed is waiting for his turn. What about the last verb, jump? Who's jumping? Well done, Hassan is jumping. Now, I want you to look at the pictures and then write about what they are doing. I'm going to give you an example for the first picture. Let's look at the first picture. He's going to school. Now, you have five minutes to complete this question.
Now, let's look at picture number two. What are they doing? Excellent. They're cleaning the garden. Let's look at picture three. What are they doing? Well done. They're setting the table. Now let's look at picture four. What are they doing? Well done. They're playing football. What about picture five? What is he doing? He is reading a book. And finally, picture number th six. What are they doing? They're visiting their uncle. This was the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.